you can only retire when you're over 60, right? Wrong. There are people retiring at 40. There are people retiring at 30. There are even those extremely lucky cases that retire in their late 20s. And no, we're not talking about inheriting wealth. Don't swipe or click away, because here is how to retire in 10 years, starting with zero money. What if we told you that it's possible to retire early in just three simple steps? And no, we don't mean 59, because that's still too late. We're talking about retiring while you're still able to enjoy life. We're talking about the type of retirement where if you'd like to spend your life sipping cocktails at the beach, you could. Or maybe you're the type of guy that likes to write or paint, but you want to do it full time without ever worrying about money. Maybe you like to start and run businesses in your spare time. Whatever the case may be for you, retirement could provide that. Now, if you really think about it, retirement is simply financial freedom. When you retire, you hopefully have built a big enough nest egg to sustain you till the very end of your days. But what if you could build that nest egg a little earlier? It's not impossible if you know the laws of finance. And it all starts with assessment. That's the first step to figure out how to retire in 10 years starting with zero dollars. Take out a piece of paper and divide it into two. That's because assessment is divided into two parts. One, assessment of your goals. Two, assessment of your current situation. On the first half, write assessment of your goals. This is where you list the type of life you want to be living. Retirement shouldn't be about living below your means all your life. Now you get to write what your ideal life looks like. For some, it's as simple as $60,000 per year. For others, their dream retirement includes a Lambo, a mansion, a summer house, and a small boat. Next up, go ahead and put a number figure next to each item. This will give you a number. Now write how much income you would like to have coming in each year. That might be 20,000 or it might be 1 million. Whatever the case, write it down. Let's assume you wrote down $100,000. Now take that number and multiply it by 25. You will get 2.5 million. This is the amount of wealth you need to have in order to live the life you want. But wait, what about the luxury items? Let's say you bought a million dollar mansion, half a million dollar summer home, a $300,000 Lambo, and a $200,000 boat. That comes up to a total of 4.5 million. This is your ideal life. This is the figure you need to be striving for. If you follow the 4% rule, then you need to smash that like button just like you should if you haven't done so already. But no, in all seriousness, you need to have invested 4.5 million preferably in assets that grow about 8% annually. So you can take 4% out of that nest egg every year and have enough cash to last you a lifetime. In the worst case scenario, if the stock market never grows a single percent from today until the end of your days, you still have a nest egg that will sustain you for 25 years. So now comes the second part. On the second side of that sheet of paper, write assessment of my current situation. This is where you write how much money you're making how much money you're spending, how much money you're investing slash saving, and how much debt you have. In other words, how do you budget your funds? And this is where people mess up. Did you know that 70% of all millennials live paycheck to paycheck? Now, you might say that's because they have no money. That's not true. If it were, then how do you explain why 40% of people who earn $100,000 still live paycheck to paycheck? It has nothing to do with how much money you make. It has everything to do with how much money you get to keep. So make sure you're not spending more than you're earning. The most important thing you need to take care of starting today is your high interest debt. Pay off your high interest debt first, like the one on your credit cards, once paid off. Take the monthly contributions you made to your credit card debt and tackle your other debt. This is also known as the snowball effect. Next up, you need to build an emergency fund. For this, you will need to look at your budget, see how much you're spending on a monthly basis, and multiply that by three or six. This is money you will keep in a high interest savings account or a CD, certificate of deposit. It's money that you don't touch unless you absolutely need to. Basically, don't even think about this money. Next up, start to build your credit score. The way you do this is by getting a credit card. Then put small expenses on it, like gas, making sure you don't cross 30% of your monthly limit. Then at the end of every month, you pay that in full. 
This way, your credit score will improve and now you will be able to get favorable bank loans. This is where the third part comes in. Take that piece of paper you had and flip it over. Write the seven things you're interested in. Leave that for now and start thinking about your investments. Remember, our goal was to earn 4.5 million in 10 years. That means you need to earn about $450,000 every year after taxes. Again, we're talking about your dream life here. This part is not going to be easy. This is where things start to get difficult. Now, you need to start thinking about how you can increase your earning power. Using the seven points of interest you listed at the top of the page, start thinking of business ideas on how you can monetize those. Once you have this strategy in place, it's time to get to work. You only need five businesses making $100,000 per year, and you're pretty much set. This is going to be the hard part. But how many people do you know that have $100,000? A Lambo, a mansion, a summer house, and a boat. Big dreams require big sacrifices. But that's if you were to just save the money. What if you were to invest it? Things become even easier when you take investing into account. For example, if you take that $500,000 your businesses earned after taxes, if that's invested in something like index funds, and you don't touch them for the next 10 years, well, they will become $1,079,462, assuming a modest 8% annual return. You earned an extra million dollars just by sitting there and doing nothing. This is interesting. Let's take it a step further. So if you were to invest the income into a relatively conservative portfolio, then you would need to invest exactly $24,982 and you would have built a $4.5 million nest egg in just 10 years from now. That's $310,632.70 every year. In other words, that's three businesses making $100,000 per year or six businesses making $50,000 per year. Remember, we have built up a good credit score by now, so lending money to start a business. Also, don't forget about taxes. If you get a good tax advisor, then she will help you save so much money that earning those extra $25,000 per month will become easier than ever. Remember, there are a lot of write-offs that you can use to grow your wealth. That's why paying attention to your taxes is of huge importance. Once you know the exact numbers, it becomes easier. But we're not going to sit here and tell you how you can become a millionaire and retire overnight. That's not going to happen. It's going to require hard work and dedication on your part. But you can do it. On a related note, how much do you want to make every year after you retire? You can tell us in the comment section below. If you'd like more videos like these, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss any of them. And as always, thanks for watching, guys.